Hello, welcome back to Lazar Wellbeing Channel. Now, so many of you have asked me about keto, the keto diet. This is where you put your body into a state of ketosis and you don't have any carbs or sugars. It's been really popular for quite a long time now. And in fact, a lot of people liken it to things like the Atkins diet that you might remember, which was very high fat, high protein, low carb. And it actually started from a medical perspective. It was a diet that was developed for epilepsy in children. So it does have some medical credentials attached to it. And I've tried it and we've written about it actually on lazarwellbeing.com. So if you want to read a really useful article about it, do head there and I'll make sure that we pop a link in the notes to this little video. Now, obviously I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of a researcher's overview on what keto is, how it might work, whether you might like to try it, some of the different principles involved. And if you've got any comments or an experience or favorite recipes or hacks, please leave them in the comments below because it would be very interesting to get a discussion going around this. So what is keto? Well, keto stands for ketogenic or ketones. And basically our body runs on fuel. So we need energy from our food, for fuel and normally that comes from glucose so that comes from all the carbohydrates the sugars that we eat get broken down in the body even things like potatoes and rice and pasta bread you know things that you might not think of as very sugary they get broken down into the sugars and that's what gives the body energy alongside other things as well you know virtually everything can get broken down into some form of sugars but our western diet has become very reliant on refined sugars and that's called all sorts of health issues, inflammation, obesity, weight gain, all of that. So when you put your body into ketosis, your body stops running on glucose and sugar and starts running on ketones. Now ketones are produced in the liver and they're converted by the body from fat. So it basically means that you're eating fat as fuel. Now you might think that fat makes you fat, but actually it doesn't. If your body is burning ketones, it's burning fat. So it's a bit like pouring petrol on a fire. You're burning it much more quickly. The snag is it's either or. You can't be a little bit ketosis. It's a bit like you can't be a bit pregnant. You know, you either you are or you aren't. You're either in ketosis or you aren't. So if you are in a state of ketosis, you're burning ketones, but that means that you can't have any of the sugars because that will immediately take you out of a state of ketosis. So it's quite a committed maneuver to do it if you want to try. And there are lots of articles online. There's obviously loads of websites about it. I tried it about a year ago as an experiment. I was writing something for the magazine about it and I wanted to put myself into a state of ketosis. And I did it for about a month. I felt incredibly well. I had loads of energy, I slept really well, I had a lot of mental clarity, and I really enjoyed it. And I think if it was something that was perhaps a bit more sociable and more adaptable to my family, I might do on a more permanent basis. And I know many people who've had some quite serious health issues who have put themselves in a state of ketosis for years at a time. But I think it's like all these things with diets, you know, it doesn't suit everybody. So it's really important to listen to your body, know what your body needs, see how you feel on it. So for me personally, I don't often go into ketosis, but I do very much have a high fat, low carb diet. So I guess I'm kind of a little bit in between. So for me, I found lots of things that have come from the keto diet to be really helpful. So these are some of the things that I eat, for example. So it's all about having high fat, high healthy fat foods. And of course, fats are really good for midlife women because we make hormones from fats. They're really good for brain health, your EPA, your DHA, from things like oily fish. So I have eggs, really good source of protein. So if you were on a keto diet, you might have eggs for breakfast, boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, whatever. You could have a bit of ham with that or a bit of meat. You can eat lots of steak and have lots of chops, high fat meat. You don't have to trim the fat off because actually you want more fat. More fat means you're burning more fat, which means that you are digging into those fat cells and getting rid of them. It sounds really strange, I know, if this is new to you, 
where you eat fat to lose fat, but it does work. And there's actually a very good book written by a woman who we've had here on the channel before, Zana Morris, who's a brilliant personal trainer and qualified nutritionist. And she wrote a book called The High Fat Diet, and that's worked for so many people to shed lots of weight just through eating fat. So what else? You can have things like nuts and seeds. I've got pumpkin seeds, Brazil nuts. You need just to learn to always look at the packet and see how much sugar in the form, carbs in the form, the form of sugar is in the pack and make sure it's very, very low, preferably less than one gram. You know, you're looking at sort of 0.05 or something like that. Um, doesn't mean to say that you have to give up all the sweet stuff. So this is something that I found quite useful. These are cocoa nibs from cocoa beans. And if you look here, carbohydrates of which sugars, 1.5 grams. So you get really chocolatey taste, but virtually no carbs, no sugars. In terms of using flour, obviously you can't use wheat flour or normal flour. If you look at a lot of the keto recipes for cakes and biscuits, they'll often use almond flour. This is just regular almond flour I got from a local health food shop. It's actually ground almonds, basically, but you can buy it in bulk. If you're getting into keto, then you can go online and you can buy these things in bulk, which is a lot less expensive. Flaked almonds, obviously. You can have a bit of yogurt, but you need to make sure it's high fat. So low fat yogurt has more carb. So again, read the labels. You want a high fat, low carb or low sugar on the label. So fat is not something to be feared. Fat is your friend. In terms of milk, uh, it's always good to use things like cream. People use double cream in coffee. You can use things like butterfat keto. This is something that I've talked about before on Lizar Wellbeing. This has got the MCT oil and the grass-fed butter. You can make this into a milk. You can use it in coffee, tea, shakes. It takes away hunger pangs and it doesn't take you out of keto. So that's good. I'll make sure we pop a link to that as well. Things like avocados, really good for plant-based based eaters. It's not very easy for a plant-based eater or a vegan to go keto. Things like avocados, nuts, seeds, they'd obviously be your friend. Cheese, I'm a great fan of cheese. This is a little bit of hard cheese, goat's cheese. I've got some nice English, English brie style cheese, Baron be good. This is a really good local cheese. And then if you're looking at veggies, you do still eat veg. I remember talking to Zana Morris about it and she said, just be careful with the sugars because things like carrot and beetroot are very high in sugar. That's why they're quite sweet. So you really want to go for green or white veg. That's what Zana says. You can have veg as long as it's green or white. So green cabbage, white cabbage, got some fennel here, it's courgette, cucumber, broccoli, um, asparagus, red, not red, asparagus is green, green or white asparagus. So, you know, think about that. If you're choosing your veg, avoid things like the beetroots. Parsnips are also high in sugar, carrots. But again, we've got lots more on that on lizardwellbeing.com if you want to have a look at it. So overall, I think it's an interesting thing to try if you want to. Um, you can make interesting puddings. You don't have to miss out. I found a place online called the Keto Bakery and they make amazing keto bread. They even make keto hot cross buns and muffins and carrot cake and all that kind of stuff. So you can find these things or there are lots of recipes you can find from the specialist keto websites. One just very quick little thing that I did when I was in keto and I wanted some kind of healthy or keto based pudding was mixing a little bit of double cream, which is the high fat, with a bit of plain cacao powder. So this is 100% cacao powder. It's not hot chocolate, because that's got sugar added. This is the cacao powder. And you can just put a teaspoon of this mixed into your double cream, and that makes an incredibly rich, chocolatey, chocolate mousse style pudding or little snack that doesn't take you out of keto. Lastly, don't forget that you will have to drink a lot of water. I found when I was in keto that I really got very, very thirsty. So lots of water mm. and see how you get on. As I say, you may not want to do the whole thing. You may not want to go into ketosis, but you may just want to experiment with having higher fat foods, lower carbs. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let's start a conversation. Leave me a comment below. And if you're enjoying this channel, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you click the little notification bell button, you'll get an alert the next time I load a video. So I'll see you then. Bye.